In this video, we're going to take a look at the new drag and drop to ID map that's available in the Substance Painter Summer 2018 release. Here I have the sample meat map project, and with my shelf open, I am going to just grab a material and just drag and drop here into the viewport. Now, you can see that as in previous releases, we can drag and drop and the texture set is highlighted. And so, for example, if I let go of my mouse here, I'm going to apply this material to the highlighted texture set. However, in the summer 2018 release, we can now hold down the control key and this now shows the ID map. So for example, here with the head texture set, if I want to apply this plastic material here to the red ID, I can do that. So here I'm just gonna let go of my mouse and you can see here in the texture set, let's come over here to my texture set list and I'm going to just solo the head here for this demonstration. And then I'll hit the F key just to kind of zoom in and focus here the, the head. Now. Here, if we take a look at the layer stack, you can see that the material is added here to the stack, and we also have just automatically created a layer mask. The layer mask has the color selection applied to it, and here in the color selection, you can see that the ID mask is being used. This, is, again, is the ID map that was baked in the baking process, and here the color is then set to red, which is what I chose when I just drag and drop the material here into the viewport, holding down the control key. So here, just to show this once more, we'll grab another material here from my shelf. I'm gonna hold down the control key, left click and drag and drop. And now again, I see my ID and I can place this new material on the highlighted ID here in the ID map. Again, let go of my mouse. And now we have again, another layer with our layer mask and the color section applied to the ID that I dropped the material onto. Now, if I take this same material, and again, I'm gonna hold down my control key, left click and drag this here into my 3D view and drop this onto another ID. In this case, let's use the green ID here. We'll go back to that layer. You can see a new layer was not created. However, if we come over here to our mask and look at our color selection, we've added a new color ID here for this specific color selection masking operation. So again, we use the yellow and the green from the ID map. The drag and drop functionality also works in the 2D view. So here I'm going to switch over to my 3D 2D split. So now we have our 3D view and our 2D view. Now another feature I'll just quickly explain here. If we come back to our drop down, we've added a new swap 3D 2D. So if I choose this option here, again, the keyboard shortcut F4, I can swap which side I would like to have the 2D and 3D views placed. So here in this case, I'll just go back to kind of the default setup. So now again, let's grab another material. This time here, I might take this platinum. I'm gonna hold down the control key, left click and drag, and you can see here again in the 2D view, I now see the color ID map overlaid in the viewport, and I can simply just choose which ID I would like to apply this material to. So here in this case, I'm gonna choose the yellow ID. And then again, here in the layer stack, you can see that we have the layer, once more, we have our layer mask, our color selection, and then the ID is applied here. So that is how the drag and drop to color ID works in the summer 2018 update. Just simply use the control key as you drag and drop. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time.